Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? Um, what we're going to be talking about right now is a few things that some community members sent in. And I wanted to get them out to you. Okay, so this first email uh, comes in from a community member. And she lives here in Florida. And she said, watch for anyone following you home. This morning I went to Publix on 34th Street and 17th Avenue North, uh, which is in uh, Pinellas County. Uh, she said, I always take the back streets home. Uh, three blocks down the street, I noticed the white pickup truck that I saw at Publix was right behind me. I did notice that he watched me get into my car and left when I did, so I started making a right turn at every block. If there was a stop sign and no one was coming, I went through it. This went on for almost 10 minutes and he finally gave up just to be on the safe side. I drove three miles out of my way to get home. Please stay alert and stay safe out there. Absolutely. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Absolutely getting ridiculous. And just as a side note, um, I noticed on one of my videos from like two days ago, um, someone is coming on to uh, my channel into the comment section and saying that you know this is why I only listen to so-and-so because she only tells the facts she tells the truth yeah well so do I um, I fact check myself I fact check everyone you know before I put anything out and you know if you know you, you want to stick with that one person please you know do so um, but please don't, you know, come into the comment section and, you know, my comment section and, you know, try to, try to dissuade people from, you know, listening to what I have to say because, you know, that, that's not cool, you know what I mean? And, you know, whoever that is, you know, I can't even remember the person's name or channel or whatever it was, but, you know, that, that, that's, you know, I'm sure she wouldn't like it if, you know, my subscribers went into her chat or you know whatever uh comment section and said well you should only go over to her channel because she tells the truth you know i mean that it's it's not okay it's not nice you know you don't do things like that okay so who whoever you are okay please stop doing that okay i mean if you were sent here from her channel or whatever the case may be you know kindly please stop doing that okay it's it's just not the way things are done here um so this next uh email comes from a community member she said hello beautiful sunshine one was wondering if anyone else has these thoughts uh just some thoughts and this is my opinion speaker johnson has filed legislation to extend the deadline for the budget democrats have made a statement there will be a surprise in october my opinion is 46 will resign in his presidential position kamala ma ding dong <laughs> will be sworn in as president speaker johnson then becomes vp there will be a new speaker appointed the save act will be taken out of the budget legislation and the senate legislation for crossers to vote will be added to it which will then give them voting rights summary we're fricked yeah i agree this is just my personal opinion y'all but gotta admit it doesn't sound it does it does doesn't it sound like a democratic plan yes it does absolutely 100 percent uh trump vance 2024 hoping you and your you you and yours are doing well we are we're doing very well thank you she said uh this is uh just happened to pop into my head when someone reported that the dementia craps <laughs> said october surprise coming uh she said i'll add some more foil to my hat now <laughs> yeah i i um I absolutely 110% agree with you. Yeah. So there's going to be a link in the description box below, okay? Because this community member from Canada sent this to me. And he said they just proved this. Uh, they're after our children. Uh, some 15,000 students in Ottawa, our capital city, could face suspension in early 2025 unless they get this, okay, up to date. Uh, the city's public health agency warns, um, and that is referring to the uh, Mr. 19. They are so going to mess up this generation of children, and there's a good chance 
they're going to have a weird health problems down the road, principally uh, strange heart-related illnesses. The public health agency may have good intentions, but they've learned nothing from the last round concerning the uh, effects of the, you know, uh, proving that they haven't done their due diligence in research concerning the insidious effects of it. And of course, most parents are going to catapult, um, cap, capitulate, sorry, <laughs> instead of homeschooling their children. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, from what I understand here, pediatricians are telling parents that their children are not 100% until they've had three by nine months old. Yeah. So here's an email from a community member. She said, did you know that you cannot buy a new phone in a phone store or over the internet or by phone from a new carrier or start up a service without a valid ID? Yes, I did know that. She said, I tried switching my phone from Cricut to iPhone. Could not buy one because my driver's license is expired. Ditto at T-Mobile, Verizon, etc. No current valid ID, no phone purchase, period. You can buy one over the phone with a with currently with a current valid ID. Carriers have an app that they can send to your phone or computer screen and you hold the front and back of your ID against the screen, picture is taken of it. There's instant verification that it is indeed valid. What's going on here? I don't have answers for you. I really don't. But I do know that because we're with T-Mobile and they've always been that way. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Have you just tried to go to like Walmart and get like a track phone or something like that? You know what I mean? So here's an email from a community member and she said, uh, to all that live at 38th Avenue, 35th Street, 46th Avenue, 46th Street in Leoman, the county repaved our streets and seriously screwed up our drainage system. If you're experiencing flooding, please contact the county. I've lived here for 30 years and have never had my street flood or my yard hold three inches of water. All the ditches are flooded and holding water. Nothing is running into Joe's Creek. They dumped all the asphalt in our sewers. What? Clogging the drains in the ditches? Please call City Public Works at 727-464-8900. Make a complaint under service request number 397-175. What do you mean they dump the asphalt in the sewers? What the heck? She said, first the flooding in my home in 33 years. Oh my good Lord. So one more email before I go. Uh, she, this uh, community member said today on the Poplar report, Steve is visiting Brussels and told of a rule called CSDD or something like that. Long story short, every supplier world, worldwide from farmers to transporters is required to follow rules supporting ESG or they cannot do business in the EU. This applies down chain to up chain. If a company does not stridently support the agenda of the, really? LGBTQ plus, they cannot do business there. Why? That's, wh what does that have to do with business? This makes me wonder, she said, how they're going to get fuel. Maybe the silver lining would be that their businesses would have to return to the USA. Although I remember reading a long time ago that no loans will be given from banks if they have a low DEI or ESG score and or don't support the climate cult. I see the UN as the center of this tremendous cow pie. What does their support of one community, I'll say that, have to do with business? That makes absolutely no sense at all whatsoever. 
All right. I have to go steam on this for a while. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless.